What we have here is a mock-up of a boiling water reactor fuel assembly. These long tubes here are made out of zircaloy, an alloy of zirconium. They're approximately the size of a pencil. Inside these tubes are uranium dioxide fuel pellets, which you can see here, simulated uranium dioxide fuel pellets underneath the spring. This particular boiling water reactor fuel assembly is what we refer to as a 10 by 10. There are 10 rods on this side, 10 rods on this side, for a total of approximately 100 fuel rod locations. Now, in this particular design, some of those fuel rod locations have been removed and replaced with what we refer to as um, water rods. Those are non-fueled locations. The boiling water reactor fuel assemblies are also covered with a zircaloy channel, which you see here. Part of the zircaloy channel has been removed for ease of viewing the inside, as has some of the fuel rods been removed for ease of viewing. This boiling water reactor fuel assembly is approximately five and a half inches wide by five and a half inches. It's approximately 14 feet tall and weighs roughly 700 pounds. A pressurized water reactor assembly looks very similar to this except the zircaloy channel is missing or it does not exist in a pressurized water reactor assembly and the number of rods may be larger or will be larger, approximately 17 by 17 for a standard design. Um, and that would be 17 rods on a side by 17 rods. So that would also be a little bit wider at about 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches. The length, again, would be 14 feet roughly. The weight, though, would be approximately 1,400 pounds. Now, in the boiling water reactor assembly, as I said, this is a 10 by 10. More common designs or other designs are 8 by 8 or 9 by 9, and that would be within the same 5.5 inches. After the assembly has been in the reactor for approximately four and a half years, it is considered a spent fuel assembly, or we refer to it as a used fuel assembly. It is then lifted out of the reactor, transferred underwater, lifted out of the reactor underwater, transferred underwater to the spent fuel pool, lowered down into the spent fuel pool storage racks underwater. That whole process is done underwater to um, protect the workers from radiation exposure. 